In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a um, IB style DCP graph use, uh, for the for the spring constant lab. You can actually do it in Excel. You can do the whole max min slope thing, and that's what I'm going to show you. Okay. First off, you got your data table. It's got all the right things. Their stretch distance. Somehow they want like the symbol meters plus or minus half a millimeter. Um, force in newtons. I'm going to say since the smallest division was half a newton, that half of half is about 0.3. It's really 0.25, right? Um, and here are our forces. Notice that the, um, the decimals all line up. And the way you do that, if they don't, if they aren't the same, right, is you can use these these things here to make them. But I'm going to leave it at the tenths place like that. Now the first thing I might want to do is just format these cells. That's a right click format cells, right? I'm going to go border. Um, I like these guys. And then I think these ones in here, I'm gonna, that's a right click format cells. I'm going to get rid of that. I think that looks good. That looks pretty nice, right? And so now if we do a print preview, it'll look like that. Okay, that's kind of neat, right? Okay. So now we want to start making a graph, but we also need to do the, like the max and min slope lines, right? So I'm going to add a little series here to cheat so that I can put lines through them and get like the the slope of those lines, right? So the the, um, the steepest line is going to go from 0.6, right, which will be the bottom side of this guy, uh, to uh, 6.4, right? So I'm doing what I'm doing there is I'm going 0.9 minus 0.3, right? And then this the least steep one is going to go from 1.2, the high error bar of this, to the low error bar of this, which would be, um, what would that be, 0.3? That would be 5.8, right? Okay. So that's that's these points there. I gotta find those points, All right? That's the least steep line. That's the most steep. And now we need to make a graph of this. Notice I select these two, and those will become series. Okay, so I go insert, scatter graph this guy, right? Put them over here. Okay, since I've already done a print preview, I oh baby, scroll back up. That's not gonna work for me. There we go. Okay, so um, I don't really like this legend. It doesn't do anything for me. Um, and then, of course, I need to lay out. I'm going to do the chart title above the chart. This is, uh, cl I'm clicking in there, Control A. Uh, versus restoring force versus stretch distance. And then we need a vertical axis, uh, I like the rotated one, and the horizontal, how about below? I'm going to click in there, I'm going to do control A. This is restoring force in newtons. Does it actually say force? It does. And then this guy here is control A. I'm just going to type, this is uh, stretch in uh, meters. Okay. So now we're set. Um, I don't like these guys right here. I don't want them to be there when I add the error bars. So I'm actually I'm doing a right click on the point, format data series, marker options, none. I don't want it to be marked. I just want it to be there. It's still there. It just doesn't mark it. I've always wondered what that's for, right? Format data series. That's a right click on the point, right? Format data series, marker options. I don't want any markers. So now they're there. We can put lines through them, but they don't show up. Okay, so let's see. Um, what's the next thing we want to do? I think we want to, let's add uh, error bars to this. Okay, so I click on the point. I find this. There's all these things here, right? you got to click on things. It's in the layout, right? So click on the points. Click on layout at the top, and then go error bars. And then really what you want to do is more error bar options. So click on the points. Click layout. Click more error bar options. We want both. Now hold on, it's going to look terrible until we delete the X error bars. Let's make it 0.3. Watch. It's like, ooh. Okay, now here's how you get rid of the X ones. You just go boom. I clicked on the X error bars. I hit delete. The delete key on the keyboard. Okay, so this is beautiful. Now we need to put a best fit line through it. Display, so linear is what you want. Display equation on chart. Boom. There's your best fit line. Uh, and now we're going to add the steepest and least steep, right? So we're going to go boom, add trend line, boom, linear.
linear display equation. Here's your steepest one, right? And then I'm going to do this for this guy here. I'm going to go right click, add trend line. So I'm, I'm clicking on those, those points that we hid, right? Add the trend line, display the equation on the chart, right? So there's our least steep line, and you can, obviously you still need to go high minus low divided by 2. Probably we're going to have an uncertainty that's looking to be about 2 point something, right? So we'd round that to 17.6 plus or minus 2 point something. Okay, so you still need to do stuff. I'm not doing that in this video. Um, and then, obviously we've got these numbers off here, and somebody might look at them and go, what are those? They bother me. So I selected it, right click, format cells, click on font. How about we make them white? The numbers are there. They don't show. Actually, they show when you highlight it, which is kind of funny, right? It's kind of like Lord of the Rings. If you're wearing the ring, you show up when the sun is shining. Okay, so there we go. There's a, a perfect graph, perfect data table, and I better click stop.